fundamentally, teams are excited to build, uh, you know, workflows in Dagster, and they're tired of doing it on Airflow. And that's a significant uh, element to a choice in technology, you know, the ability to attract talent to do a particular piece of work over a long term, and also to uh, minimize, you know, fatigue and, and, uh, and churn. And then when the teams are using uh, Daxter against Airflow, like we see a, a far higher rate of development, you know, they're, they're, they're able to close the loop far quicker. Um, Daxter has a really amazing platform to be able to develop locally as well as uh, in your deployment um, using like branch deployments, things like that. Uh, and teams are able to iterate very quickly, try ideas out very quickly and put in production and have them work. Um, and then what I'm seeing with teams is that you know the testing of those uh, of the orchestration uh, the automation and the workflows that you're able to build uh, it's not an afterthought right it's kind of you don't have to bring that to the table dexter does it for you with other tools you often have to create that yourself and kind of finally and this has uh, been my experience a few times already is that when you encounter issues you know, we're able to get in touch with uh, the, the team directly. They have an open Slack channel where uh, you're able to communicate with them and resolve issues that you'd think would take you a week or something like that and actually get resolved very quickly. So the, um, that allows you to uh, mitigate risks and to overcome bottlenecks uh, quicker than you expect. It really creates the incentive to have a single control plane end to end for all your data, right? And what you see with time is that teams will integrate uh, into their into Dexter earlier and later portions of the data cycle uh, that would normally be handled by other pieces. And, and so it creates the incentive to be more transparent with all the steps that are involved uh, with the data. reason why we see people go for Daxter instead of Airflow is honestly kind of a, a multifaceted question. The first thing is that the, you know, the experience uh, for end users, the user interface and all that is from our point of view, more approachable uh, than Airflow. You get the information faster. Things like error logs are just a click away, right? Instead of three clicks away. So it's it's details like those. It's an appealing platform that uh, is pleasant to use. And that, that matters more than you think on a day-to-day, -day, right? Um, then we find that we have to write less code in order to uh, produce the end result that we want. The dependencies being determined implicitly rather than having often to be specified explicitly is something that, you know, it avoids redundant code and uh, makes it easier for teams to collaborate. The availability of a platform like Baxter uh, Cloud Serverless uh, really means that teams can consider using it far earlier uh, than Airflow in our experience. You have this sort of low barrier to entry in order to start using the product there for even small teams and it's able to grow with you and has all the same uh, you know, ability to deploy hybrid or on-prem as you, you would with a more complex tool like Airflow, but you're able to approach it far earlier in your journey. You know, we use DBT quite a lot um, and the ability to get going with DBT and Daxter really, really quickly, like in the matter of a day, um, it's really kind of a game changer for us. Like typically with DBT, you'd go from something that's a little bit too rudimentary to then having to make the massive jump to using Airflow. And you would only do that for really sophisticated teams and quite large teams, right? Whereas with uh, Dagster, you're able to kind of, from day one, if you want, even with a team of one, even very small team, you know, uh, if you're using something like Dagster Cloud Serverless, you're able to have that tool right away and the level of technical debt that you're experiencing is very low. Uh, so for us, it's it, it's just far broader in terms of in terms of the teams we can introduce it to. And we're seeing teams that are very small uh, asking us excitedly about it or asking us to implement it for them. And I mean teams of one, teams of three, things like that, because for them, uh, the trade-off between technical debt and the value they get is overwhelmingly uh, advantageous.